So for this problem, the first thing you need to do to determine Lewis structure is just write down the total number of electrons. And how you figure that out is by looking at the molecule and then determining each element, what group is it in. For example, C is in group 4, right? And so therefore you'd write down 4. Um, hydrogen is in group 1, so you'd, you'd write down 1. And then since it has a subscript, multiply it by 3. And you do the same thing for all of these. And then uh, obviously oxygen would be different because oxygen is in group 6. So then you'd write down 6. And then you add these all up and you get 26 total electrons in your structure. So whenever you have a lot of carbons in your um, compound, uh, you want to try to line the carbons up, right? So have your base um, as carbon. So, um, it, this is also known as a carbon backbone, right? Now, if you have other stuff, right? For example, OH. So the OH, you know, since, it, since it's in parentheses, uh, the O and H go together. So, um, but it won't be carbon bonded to carbon bonded to O, then carbon. When it's in parentheses, that usually means that it's attached to the group to the left. For example, um, oops, as you can see here, um, I have the first carbon, the second carbon, then this OH, right? It's bonded to the uh, carbon, right? To the carbon next to it. So this OH will be on the second carbon and it will be linked to it, um, as you can see here. And then you have your final carbon and the three H's attached. So it's a little bit of trial and error until you can get the right amount of electrons. For, um, for example, I've shown all of these here. And um, the dash is two electrons and the lone pair is also two electrons each. Um, and so if you count all this up, it will equal 26. And that's that was your ultimate goal. Now, moving on, um, uh, calculating formal charge for each of these carbons um, and oxygen in this case, everything that's not a hydrogen, right? So how you do that is just count the number of bonds. So one, two, three, four, right? So it's going to be four minus, so since carbon is in group four, it'll be four minus four, right? So one, two, three, four, four minus the group number of carbon minus four equals zero. And you do the same thing for each of these, one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four, and both of those will be four minus four is equal to zero. Next one, oxygen, if you want to calculate the formal charge of oxygen, well, what you do is um, you count the bonds, but you also count the lone pairs. Now, when you count the lone pairs, you count each electron as its own. So what I mean by that is you count it like one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so you count six, so then it'll be 6 minus 6, which is oxygen's group number. So 6 minus 6 will be equal to 0. So the formal charge for the entire compound will be 0. Now for hybridization, um, it'll be sp3 for everything, right? For all the carbons. Because um, you have 1, 2, 3, uh, I'm sorry, 1, 2, 3, 4, right? So if you have 4, then you want the exponents in your... Uh, hybridization to equal 4 and that's why I wrote in the 1 here so it's easier to see because 1 plus 3 is 4 and that equals 1 2 3 4 right so 4 domains equals the 4 uh, if you add the exponents same thing here 1 2 3 4 and then 1 plus 3 is 4 so um, the exponents add up to the um, compound uh, to the carbon and uh, uh, even here right so for oxygen now uh, you, this is different from formal, formal charge. Uh, for uh, the lone pairs, you count the lone pair as one, right? We don't count it individually. So we write one, two, three, four, right? Four domains. Therefore, one plus three is four. So even oxygen will be sp3. So I hope that helped, and thanks for watching.